Hello, welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. We're going to look at a series of beers from a brewery that's been fairly well established in Japan, and that is Ise Kadoya Brewery. And Ise Kadoya uh, has been around for a long time. Well, as a sake brewery, they've been around since 1575. Uh, as a craft beer brewery, not quite so long, but still quite long in uh, Japanese craft beer history terms. They opened in 1997, and they're located in Ise City, uh, Mie Prefecture. And Ise is famous for uh, the one of the most uh, uh, renowned shrines in Japan, uh, Ise Shrine, and uh, the brewery. Uh, has a, uh, a tap room near two uh, two the two shrines. One is called Geku, and the other is Naiku, and they have a number of taps available there. Uh, they opened a new brewery in 2018 called the uh, Shimono Brewery, uh, so they've made quite an expansion. Uh, the founder of the craft beer section is named Suzuki San, and he has a PhD in microbiology, specifically in yeast, and so he's uh, well versed in that. And the head brewer uh, currently is a man named uh, uh, Deguchi, who uh, is really uh, adventurous and uh, putting out all kinds of new beers. Uh, and in fact, they've impressed me as being a brewery that's put out so many new beers in the last year or two, uh, uh, trying to maybe find core set. Um, they also have a, a souvenir line of uh, sort of regular beers called Shinto beer as well. Uh, there are two uh, places to try them in Tokyo. One is their Shinjuku restaurant, which apparently has four taps, and their Tokyo Yaesu Tavern, which has 13 taps. So they have many, many uh, seasonal beers and limited beers. Uh, they put out uh, a soccer beer uh, I think two soccer beers last year, uh, so uh, or soccer themed beers, a baseball beer. Uh, uh, so, um, in any case, let's move along, and we're going to look at uh, a number of their beers, and uh, we'll start with one right now. And here we are with a, another beer from Ise Kadoya, and that is Ise Kadoya IPA, and of course this is. One of the most common of all craft beer styles. Uh, it used to be the number one beer style uh, in craft beer on ratebeer.com, but uh, hazy or New England IPAs have overtaken it uh, in the terms of the number of beers. And uh, but this is a beer that, of course, any craft beer brewer will would make. And uh, you know, this is the kind of beer that you, if you're a craft beer brewer, you got to get it. You know. You, you have to be able to make a good, I think, IPA. Uh, and in any case, we'll try this one from Isa Kadoya. This is a 7% beer. It has uh, 65 international bittering units, so it's up there. Um, there was an earlier release. This is a 2020 release. Uh, there was an earlier release uh, from Isa Kadoya that was retired in uh, 2016. So uh, on Rake Beer, this one has only two ratings. Uh, and two reviews as well, uh, an average of 3.70 um, out of five. And untapped, 467, an average of 3.53, but that, I believe, is for the earlier style as well. They kind of blend, I think they blend both together, the earlier release and this 2020 release. So shall we give this one a go? Isa Kadoya IPA. It is, it certainly is one of my favorite styles, uh, definitely. Okay, it's uh, pretty clear. You can see right through it. Like a half finger of slightly off-white head. Not quite creamy, but almost, almost. You can see the lace on here dropping off into fingers. 
And put it through the light and we see what colors we might get. And the aroma, okay, it certainly is piney. Maybe some, some light tropical fruit. It seems like everybody's taking, everybody's uh, making their, their beers tropical these days. I'm not complaining, I mean, I like it, but, but, yeah, so some tropical fruit, definitely piney. On the edge of dank, maybe. Smell the maybe some caramel, what you would expect to be caramel in the aroma. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, this is very well balanced. There's some serious hops right up front. Kind of grab the size of your tongue. Uh, the caramel comes out. Uh, and balances in mid palate. Um, finishes with light bitter tracks, not extreme. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is very well made. Uh, the slight tropical note makes it a little bit different, I guess, uh, uh, for me, but it seems kind of normal, I guess, these days. So, not bad, not bad at all. Isagadoy has been releasing so many beers. Uh, seems like uh, I get email I ordered from them, and so now I get email almost every week with some kind of new beer coming out. So it's hard to keep up with all the things that they are making these days. Uh, quite ambitious, actually. So, um, so once again, Isagadoy uh, IPA, uh, seven percent, sixty-five international bitter units. Uh, give them a go. Uh, Almost all of Isa Kadoya's beers are well worth trying. Uh, and let me know what you think, okay? And please subscribe to the channel. We will continue with more Isa Kadoya beers in our next few reviews, and I hope you're along for that. Okay, bye-bye.